The growth and popularity of farmers markets these days is nothing short of amazing. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the number of America's farmers markets has nearly doubled in just a few years, from about 2,800 in 1998 to north of 5,000 last year. But a few venerable markets have been around for a very long time, as you'll see in this visit to Knoxville's historic Market Square, sent to us by East Tennessee Public Television. director of the Market Square Farmers Market in downtown Knoxville. We're here on a rainy day and we are here every Wednesday from 11 to 2 and Saturdays from 9 to 2 from May through November. This is the site of the original Market House which ran a farmers market for over a hundred years and was known as one of the largest and best in the region. People came from all over the region selling fish, eggs, meat, and inside and outside of the market house. Um, it burned in the 60s and went through a few different changes um, until it became a pedestrian square in about 2004, which is when we opened. Um, we wanted to bring this tradition back to Market Square and we started with just about two or three farmers in May of 2004 and have steadily grown over those years to today, which on a Saturday in August we have 80 vendors which includes locally grown produce, meats, eggs, and honey, as well as craft vendors and prepared food vendors who use local products, um, who buy from local farmers and create things like quiches and scones with local berries. Hello, my name is David Gwynn. I own and operate VG's Bakery in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're a full line bakery other than we don't do wedding cakes because we can't handle the stress. But uh, we bring a variety of baked goods, the uh, breakfast pastries, muffins and scones, cookies, and a pretty wide selection of breads. Uh, whenever we can, we use the local farmer's produce. Uh, today we're featuring two items with the local produce. One is a bacon, scallion, and Swiss cheese biscuit, and we get the bacon from a local so source called Benton's, and we get the scallions from a gentleman right next door here, Mr. Todd. And then we also have a peach and blueberry hand pie, which is a little baked pie that's shaped like a fried pie, but we bake it and it features peaches from the fruit and berry patch and blueberries from Adam over here. So it's a lot of fun to use the local stuff when we can. Ivy, have you seen magic before live? Not really. Okay, perfect. There's a really good one. My name is Adrian Gibson. I'm from a place of the heart farm where I am the farm manager. We grow organic vegetables, carrots, onions, beets, radishes, peas, squash, zucchini, lettuce, spinach, potatoes, sweet potatoes, watermelons, cantaloupes, okra, uh, chard, basil, Thai basil. Man, it goes on and on. I couldn't count them all. <laughs> this is the eighth year for us and I started with a small garden to feed myself organic vegetables because they're so expensive. And um, the first year we got um, a call from Charlotte and she uh, wanted to know if we wanted to serve the farmer's market. So the next spring we grew more vegetables and started coming it down. I like to see all the people. The energy is amazing and um, more and more people are coming. And this is big compared to the first year where there were just a few farmers. It's really my chance to get off of the farm and out into the city and see some people and sell vegetables. <laughs> I know I've done you wrong. Remember rain evening, I put you all in. One of the things that we also do that makes shopping here a lot easier in a very credit card oriented society is we do market money. And it's kind of like our own currency. Um, we use it like an ATM. You can swipe your debit card here for a $1.50 charge and we give you market money, which can also be used as gift certificates or for donations. Um, and then you can use those tokens with any of our vendors and we just reimburse them in cash. Hey, okay, I'm Colleen Cruz and I'm with Cruz Dairy Farm. I'm the youngest daughter in the family. My parents started milking cows when they got married 30 years ago. And we're at the farmer's market in Knoxville. 
And I just love coming to the farmer's market. I've been doing it for several years, and I started off coming with just our milk products, our buttermilk and milk. We um, started doing ice cream this year, which has been pretty exciting. These are buttermilk peach sorbet and chocolate and vanilla. And all of our products are made at our farm with our milk and cream from our Jersey cows. When I come to the farmer's market, I buy fruit. I buy like, peaches from the farmers here for the ice cream. I buy um, vegetables and all the things we don't grow at our farm, I like to buy here. I'm Katie Reese. I've been coming to the Knoxville Farmer's Market since 2005. And I like being in the city center and seeing the people that are here. I like seeing what people grow in town and meeting the people who grow my food and buying from uh, people who make the crafts. Every week I try and buy jalapeno cheddar cornbread from VG's Bakery and it's five dollars and it's amazing. I think if you are, we're making the pitch for somebody to come down to the farmers market it's kind of a chance to see our city at its best. It's sort of the way we imagine our cities, this, this marketplace where everybody's coming together and buying the things they need and you know, meeting their neighbors, meeting their producers. It's sort of the, the utopian idea of a city, right here on Saturdays.